All right, what's up everybody? Here I am at SHOT Show. Um, if you guys don't know me, Connor Olstead, I don't get on camera a ton because I am usually doing behind the camera. So I'm shooting this with my phone right now. But as you can see, I'm at SHOT Show right now. So there's a Sitka booth right there. And we, I'm just uh, kind of hitting up everybody, letting them know about uh, what we do at Midwest Flyways. And um, I also run my own media company, so I'm soliciting those services as well. But yeah, um, gonna go see, I was at the Heavy heavy Shop booth this morning, and they, uh, they have a cool new shot coming out, uh, the Snow Goose shot that's coming out, and uh, so that's gonna be really sweet. They, they're just doing some cool stuff with the tungsten and steel, and uh, the way that that, they combine those in the same heavy metal, so. But yeah, I'm um, just here kind of hanging out and doing my thing. One thing one thing I forgot to mention about Heavy Shot is that if you, um, this is the, the guy who was talking to me at the booth, because we were talking about doing a pattern testing video, and if you test out Heavy Shot, it doesn't compare directly apples to apples with like, if you so if you did a two shot, you actually have to drop down to four shot because their uh, pellets are so much smaller. Um, and so yeah, there's a two shot size difference. But, uh, but yeah, so I thought that was interesting. <laughs> oh, all right, so just got out of uh, chatting with Sitka. And man, let's talk about them for a second here. They're, uh, I gotta go to my next meeting, so pardon me while I just walk, but they're, they are doing some stuff. They got the waiters out this year. They got the waiters coming out. No Thinsulate, completely, I guess, scramless if you wanna go, you know, say it that way, but it, because Sitka's all, all about layering, and so they did, their waiters have no thickness to them. Um, you can, um, and which makes it good for all season as long as you layer yourself accordingly, right? So the boot, I'm excited about the boot. I think that that's gonna be a good, uh, good addition. Uh, at the base of the boot, they have like the ankle is like squishy so that, you know, it's not, it's, it's easy to maneuver and move around. Uh, the back, they have a little hanging clip on the back as well as a couple on the sides. So that's good as well. Um, but yeah, it comes in a zippered version for $9.49. So under a thousand bucks, hey, that's pretty good for Sitka, right? And then uh, it also comes with a non-zippered version, like just a slip-up version that everybody's used to uh, for $8.49. Um, so the, the non-zippered version has a kangaroo pocket and the zippered version has the two hand pockets. So um, the zipper's obviously waterproof. The pocket zippers on the sides, um, they are not waterproof, but they're water resistant. And then they updated the Hudson. That was another big uh, play uh, by then this year. The back is now stretchy. So when you like reach forward or grab around, uh, that back is like stretching for you. Um, the, Oh, and by the way, those little clips up top, so many people ask me about what those are for, and I always said calls. Well, now it's confirmed. Those are actually for calls. They have little hangers that go on there for the calls. Uh, but the pockets raised raised up a little bit, or they pushed them down, I think. I don't know. They adjusted the pockets a little bit um, on the Hudson. So minor changes. The back, the stretchy Gore-Tex material is probably the biggest change for that. But lots of stuff happened in, uh, at the Sitka booth this year. I'm really excited about these waiters, man. I like they, you know, affordable is probably not the best way to say it, but they're not $1,200. You know, they're less than a thousand, um, so that's good. The boots, uh, oh, and they're customizable. Not quite customizable, but they come in they come in different sizes based on yourself. So, like your boot size, you can have a different inseam, a different waist, um, a lot of different. Uh, depending on what it is, I'll, I'll throw a chart up here right now so you guys can see. My, my biggest concern with chatting with the ambassador was how well these are gonna stand up to the elements because such thin material, you, you just never know, right? And um, he, he definitely reassured me that, they, that it's gonna be just fine. Like, it's, like he said that he's been using it for three seasons already. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant, you know, at a thousand bucks, you know, to see 
what that's going to do and if it's going to hold up to actually like trudging through you know ice and, and trees and marsh and all that stuff but um, I don't know I'm optimistic especially you know because you can use them all season with the layering um, means that you got to buy some more base layers but um, he said that the the, the uh, boot is equivalent to about a 1200 1200 grams so that's good too but anyway super excited uh, doing really well to this this uh, this day at shot and let's just uh, let's keep on trucking we just chatted with uh, a couple different companies I went and saw JP rifles I did some work for them earlier this year but uh, now we're headed out to get some lunch All right, finished up with lunch. We went to uh, sushi, sushi samba. It was pretty good, pretty good. I did not get the sushi. I ended up getting the duck because uh, it was probably the best duck I have ever had. Sorry, Cal, but this just doesn't compare to yours. So definitely if you're in Vegas, ch check it out. But yeah, it was good. Back to the floor. So I just swung by the Benelli booth and I was checking out some of their um, some of their products and they, they had the SBE 3 out last year and um, and I was really interested in it because um, obviously I'm you know I'm a big Benelli fan I got the Benelli M2 did a review on that but the, uh, the SBE 3 they fixed the main problem that Benelli has and that is the battery so when you knock the gun when like it uh, you set it down in the blind or whatever and with the inertia system the way that it is it bounces out and the battery comes off right so it's crazy annoying because then when you bring the gun up and you shoot it you're not able to hit the firing pin or the firing pin isn't able to hit the uh, shotgun shell with enough force therefore you have like a dry fire it's not quite a dry fire, but you, you get what I'm saying. So anyway, I was super annoyed with it. I didn't know what was going on with the gun. And with this, the, ba the battery thing is still a problem. Like it will still um, happen, but instead of having to re-rack the whole round again, you can just press it up and it will, um, it will re-engage and that'll completely fix it. So I'm really glad that they listened to the feedback on that and like fixed it. We are not outside right now. This is inside a mall. No windows. I have zero idea which way is north, south, east, west. We are inside right now. It's kind of crazy. It's been a great day chatting with people. Uh, highlight was definitely the Sitka waiters. And uh, now I'm just kind of sitting here catching my bearings before I head back to my hotel room. It's been a good day. If there's anything you guys want to see, shoot a comment, let me know, and I will uh, try and get on that right away. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I gotta get me some pizza or something, man. See you.